Well, good morning, St. Francis. My name is Jennifer Grady, and I'm coming to you today from the beautiful grounds of St. Francis. You know, there has been a lot going on in the last couple of months, just like there has been the last couple of months for like a long time, but it's kind of a time of not, not a lot of peace. But I have found that being able to come outside and spend time in nature has been a great balm to my soul. And this time of year is one of my favorite times of year when it finally is cooling off, it's not so humid, the trees are starting to change their color, and it is just so beautiful to be outside and enjoy the beauty of God's creation. Well, I wanted to share with you a verse um, from the Gospel of John chapter 20. And it is in context of right after Jesus was crucified and all of his disciples were really scared and they were all huddled in the, the top room. Well, when it was evening on that day, the first day of the week and the doors of the house were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and he stood among all of them and he said, peace be with you. I love every time in the gospels where Jesus says, peace be with you. Because I find that I really need to hear those words of peace. I need to hear Jesus saying, peace be with you. And I wonder if maybe you need to hear the words that Jesus's peace is with us. And you know what? There is no boundary that can keep Jesus' peace from us. It can't be locked doors. It can't even be fear. Even death itself did not stop Jesus' peace from coming to the disciples in a very unpeaceful time. So with that promise, I hope that you feel Jesus' peace with you today. And maybe if you can't find it, maybe you can go outside and just be present in God's creation and have God's creation minister to you as it has ministered to me. Jesus' peace will come and find us. It's a peace that is active and pursuing for God's disciples and for those he loves. So I pray that the peace of the Lord is with you today and always. I hope you have a great day.